What's up everyone? So we are back at Mondello Park in Ireland. It is the LZ World Tour. Super excited to be back at this event. It's a really, really good, fun drift event for everybody involved. We've also got SB13.shop here in the paddock. So yeah, we're gonna be hanging out there a bunch. And we are back with the PS13, but we're on road tires. Basically, it's a rule for the whole competition. Anyone who's entering has to use just simple road tires and it's going to make the whole event a lot more competitive battles are going to be really close together um, the Irish Drift Championship I believe has been running these this rule for most of the year and uh, it's it's made some really really good battles so looking forward to getting out on track see what grip we have or haven't got and uh, yeah go and just see what the car's doing Hey, what's up everybody? It's Saturday around lunchtime. We've just been out and done practice. Uh, it went pretty well. It was pretty wet this morning, first thing, and then it's kind of just dried up as practice went on. Um, qualifying starts in about 45 minutes, so we're just gonna have a bit of a chill. Uh, but overall, everything's going pretty good. Car feels okay. Obviously, we're just kind of, you know, dancing around the track a little bit because there isn't that much grip, but you know, we're having fun with it. Uh, everyone's in the same position. Uh, the place looks absolutely jammed to the rafters and I've only been out there this morning before everyone turned up and I'm just looking out now uh, to the public areas and it looks rammed. So uh, yeah, gonna go and check out the shop in a minute as well, see how they, those guys are getting on. And then yeah, go out for qualifying and hopefully we can put it down today, get into that top 13. Um, so that secures us a position uh, in tomorrow's, uh, or yeah, Sunday's competition. So yeah, top 13 is the aim for today. And then we don't have to battle later on to try and make the last three spots for the top 16 tomorrow. A bit complicated. I think I've got my head around it. Need to be in top 13 today, so I don't have to battle this afternoon. So I don't have to be top three in the battles this afternoon to make it into the last 16 for tomorrow. I think that's how it is. Not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure that's how it was though. One man that's gonna have no excuses is Bagsy None. from the UK. Steve Bagsy Biagioni on the line. He's got this crazy 700 horsepower NA PS13 V8. But I'll tell you what, he's done a couple of laps this track over the years. He's a very competitive driver. And this is his pro this car. This is his pro car, and he competes in the Driftmaster Series. He's an ex UK champion. He is gonna come out here and put on a smoke show and be very confident going in. Wow, 
That's a big run. That was a huge run. That's a big run for the first run out of the box. And, he, and he's still going. He still has a little tire left. But putting on a smoke show for all of the fans here in Montana Park. Absolutely love it. It's like and then 88 for Bagsy. He goes into wow. second position. So all right, so yeah, we just done our first qualifying run. It was pretty good, I felt. Uh, I may have mentioned before on the vlogs that qualifying is not my strongest uh, strongest game in drifting, but uh, it was all right, 88 for my first run. I feel like I left maybe a little bit out there in certain places so we could go a little bit harder, but now I've got the confidence to probably go a little bit harder uh, and just try and get a few more points on the board. But hopefully an 88 will see us through to tomorrow's top 16 well today is top 13 as i said earlier so yeah fingers crossed that's enough to get us through to tomorrow's show and we haven't got a battle this afternoon so you feel mobile one completely hello thanks man yeah. a little bit deeper there might have left there just a bit early and then you could have got a touch yeah, deeper into deeper. that wall this wall is fine on it's just that other wall should have been a little bit earlier in yeah, yeah. That was a nice first run. He just after mobile one coming into clip four, he needs to just give it a little bit of a second longer before he transitions so he feels the clip a bit more. Then same thing again, the second wall just a little bit deeper into it. Apart from that, I think there's not much he can improve on, so we'll see on this run. Hopefully he gets into the 90s and then we're uh, done for today. We're gonna have to drive tomorrow. Let's work a little bit. We then move on to uh, Steve Bagsy Biagio. Now, he put in a big first one. He got an 86. He's after watching a couple of boys turn into the 90s there. He's not going to be able to drop some PSI. Let's see what this like, boy can do. Let's drop some PSI and see what happens. This is going to be a move. big one, I think. And Bagsy, always an exciting driver to watch. I never got to see him until Poland, and now getting to see him on this track in that car is an absolute treat. Awesome to see these big time drivers that normally don't do stuff like this out here banging gears with literal amateurs going all the way up to other professionals. This is something special right now. And again, making whiteout conditions at Montello Park. It's gonna be a big one car. down up here oh, in the judges with some big smiles over there. A 93 for 93. Steve Banksy Biagioni. Another 90 on the board. 93. Yeah, it was good. Second run felt a little bit better, a little bit more aggressive. Um, I think I fulfilled a few more zones, so jumped up the order a bit, went from 88 to 93. So I hope that's enough for uh, tomorrow, like to be in the main competition so we don't have to battle today. But either way, if it means we've got a battle today, it's just more runs out on the track. So yeah, it'd be cool. Whatever happens, it's good. I got 93.7, 93.6. Who did? You. Hey, yeah. Nice. That's that good. qualifies me. I got 93. Yeah. yeah. Do you I know if I got a point in something? Is that in the top 13? I knows. Everyone's got 90 something yeah. apparently, so probably not. No, in our life, we'll be back out there yeah. this afternoon trying to make it work for tomorrow. I, I did a, free, a failed 360, basically stopped doing a burnout, looked to my mirror, and the whole back of the car was on fire. I was like, oh. Everything alright? Yeah, just, I drove off and it put it out. Fire suppression. The old B Max Racing Pros fire, fire suppression tyres. Sharp technology. Yeah. Or whatever it is it says on them. No, that's yours. Is that mine? Yeah. Your official cheat tyres. No, I'm not using cheat tyres. I know tires. you're not. You giving it the big but one. There's a little Save sprinkle. Save me, he's going to accuse me of using semi slicks. Did he? Yesterday in practice, he was like. Because you were so quick. He was going, you're using semi slicks. I was like, no, no. No, shark, sticks, shark skin technology, Dave. Whatever that is. Yeah. Seventh, I think, and then you're eighth. Am I? Eight? I think I was tenth. Oh no! Ego just said I was tenth. Uh, yeah, in the group. it must be the uh, seventy-three point seven, ninety-three point twos and threes. Let's have a look. So, top of the shop is Dwayne McKeever, Sebastian Fontaine, uh, Connor mm -hmm. Falvey, Kevin Quinn, Chris Bradley, James Dean, Martin Richards, Connor Shanahan, Jack Shanahan, Bagsy, LZ, Darren, Sultan, Uncle Simi. So he made it in. Mm -hmm. So then Carney, Fink, Morris, and everyone else has got a battle today. Let's get drunk. Here we go. Jimmy Oaks, Axel Hilda Brand's got a uh, go for it. Her. Tessa Witter. Is she the only one Tessa on the zero? Yeah. 
she, well, she broke a shaft and then you were no, no. too busy to fix it. I'm not too busy. There's <laughs> people there to fix it. <laughs> no. You didn't know, did you? We were out I didn't the know track. at the time. I went straight back and then I, 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 we had no signal. Just for record. <laughs> just for... Just for <laughs> do give a f <laughs> right, I'm going to go and try and fix the car now. All right, buddy. Lovely to see you. Thanks for coming. So we're not driving anymore today. No, we're done. Sick. Unless there's some fantasy battles, but... Yeah. I did use a juice safe. I've got three X. That's cool. <laughs> Kevin loves whenever I just land on an event and walk yeah, out to somebody else. You have to wear it today, though. That's no issue. V8 left. So we've just finished practice. Uh, it went pretty good. Uh, so wet out there. But yeah, just throwing it in, having some fun, just doing some tandem, doing a few lead runs. Um, so yeah, gonna go out for top 16 in a little bit. Just gonna go and have some fun. Uh, don't know what the weather's gonna be like because it keeps raining and then stopping the raining. But whatever, we're just gonna go out there and have some fun with Martin um, and just put on the best show we possibly can for everybody out there. Be a good, good battle there with Martin, so should be all right, like. Rain's not, it's not really raining now, so it will be a bit greasy and patchy, like, but be interested, like, they look good in practice, so they did a little bit of practice, I think it'll be okay. And now we've got another big battle sitting up on the start line, it is going to be Martin Richards going up against uh, Bagsy, this is going to be a grudge match, these guys have battled year after year, but right now we have got Steve Bagsy Biagioni, one of the most aggressive chase drivers in the history of drifting, if he's on his day, and he's on his day today, I was watching practice, expect a lot of tire marks, a lot of bumping, and these two guys know each other's style very well. It's right in the UK, both from the United Kingdom. Bagsy oh in that Monster Energy S13 chasing it. The Driftworks 32 of Martin Richards, and here we go. If you have some fish and chips, hold them up, because this battle's going to be intense. As that 32 popping and banging all the way down the hill. Look at the speed that these guys have coming into that first outer zone. Bagsy putting all that proximity on. That R32 is real nice looking. He's say, hey, let me put some marks on that door as they come back through outside towards the wall. Not holding back an ounce as they come around. Here we go with that proximity. He's not giving him any chances. That was a fantastic lead and a fantastic ball. Bagsy's putting a great second run, but I think Martin Riches now is coming. He's going to come for it here. He has only said he hasn't drifted much this year, and he said, you know what I want to do? I just want to beat Bagsy. 
because oh, wow. he's, he said so he's straight calling Bag, Bagsy will hold it over me. He'll keep reminding me. So here we go. Mark Rich is off the line. Steve Bagsy <laughs> Biagioni through the gears and up over the hill. They will go as Bagsy presses that big flick. Mark Rich is right up onto the back bumper as they come through the first corner. Mark Rich is starting to turn the screw. And look at this for Mark Richards. Inches between these oh guys. Up oh, onto the door is Mark gracious. Richards. This is a ridiculous chase run for Mark Richards. Putting it all out of the bag here as he transitions. Get dangerous. And they fire to the wall. Richards <laughs> times it perfectly. And this is as good as it gets for pro-level drifting. Bagsy and Richards blowing the roof off Mondello Park. We're waiting for a decision to drop in. And do we have a decision, guys? We do. Kevin O'Connell, who's getting the win? Is it Bagsy or is it Martin Richards? It's a complete split decision in the tower. There's one vote for Bagsy, one vote for Richards, and one vote for one more time. We are going one yes. more time. One more time between Bagsy and Martin Richards. Tingling right now. This is amazing. I oh, they're pumped wait. up in the cars. They are pumped <laughs> up in those cars. We are getting treated to a one more time full on professional battle here at the LZ World Tour. And it's patchy out there, but there is grip to go a little bit crazy as we go through the cones, and it's going to be Martin Richards in the lead position, Bagsy in the chase, and look at Bagsy, he's right on the back bumper oh of Martin Richards as they come gracious. through. It's ridiculous through the first corner from <laughs> Steve Bagsy Biagioni. <laughs> Fires through up onto the door, and look at this, Bagsy is inches away from Martin Richards, contact through the corner, contact again, pushing him through the corner. Onto the back bumper he goes, Bagsy with a big late dive onto Richards as they fire through, screaming up onto the door and smashes in the door across the finish line. Absolutely unbelievable. This is incredible. <laughs> Bagsy looking like he's got it in his corner right now, but here comes Martin Richards to retaliate. Has he got it in him? Has he got what it takes? Well, he's definitely getting very close on entry as they come through. Check this out. Richards almost goes oh, backwards, backwards in the, the chase position. Bagsy puts the foot down. Richards on a big transition. Oh, oh there it Richards is again. goes to the door, oh, smashes Bagsy uh, through the corner. I can't even believe this right now. These guys are absolutely in Contact ripping. between both Richards with a huge dive along the wall. Up onto Bagsy as they go around the last corner. That is absolutely bananas here in Mandela Park. How do you judge that? How? How? We have to have a decision, though, from our judges, and we're going to go to you, Chelsea Denofa. Who is going through to our top eight? Bagsy gets the win. Bagsy, Bagsy gets the win. It goes through, and that is what it's all about. But, guys, give it up for Martin Richards. What a show. Adam Ivel is down there somewhere. Adam, how, how was that from inside the car? It was two of the best battles I've ever seen. Martin, you first, please. Oh, man. Bagsy and I battle a lot, and uh, a lot of times we end up hitting each other so much. <laughs> I've driven over his bonnet here on that hill in Mondello before. Uh, but finally, we had two sets of clean battles, and honestly, I'm quite happy to lose to him with that because... Uh, Looking at that little video I saw, he was just that bit closer on the entry, so well done, mate. Bagsy. Wow! <laughs> wow! Honestly, right, I, I'm not going to lie to you, I am Martin Richards' his biggest fan. <laughs> I swear to God, like, if, if I don't win this event, I wanted him to win it for sure. And uh, we both said on the start line, whatever happens next is just going to be amazing. I'm going to have the best time, and uh, I hope we put on a good show for everybody at home watching and everyone here live at Mondello. Thank you, guys. You hope? You hope? Did you just see what you got? Guys! That was fun, wasn't it? How fun was that? That was pretty fun. That was awesome. I, honestly, I wouldn't have minded losing to Martin then. Like, that was just, that was enough for me for the weekend. Just doing those two battles with Martin. Like, if they had said, like, one more time, you lost, whatever, I would have been like, cool, I'm done. <laughs> I love a beer. But, uh, yeah, no, we move on now to the top eight. Uh, we're against Sebastian Fontaine. Uh, it's going to be another one, another tough battle. Uh, oh, my bumper's off. My bumper's falling off. Martin must have hit the front corner. Um, so yeah, it's going to be another tough battle, but I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be fun. Uh, yeah, drifting with uh, cheap tyres is fun. I think everyone was uh, at the beginning, but now I'm fully sold on the idea. 35 pound tyres in drifting, it's the way forward. Closer battles, don't have to pay for expensive fucking tyres. Yeah, it's good. But what we have right now, I'm a little worried too about these two guys, Sebastian Fontaine and Steve Bags Biagioni. Now these guys, easily two of the wildest, most crazy chase drivers in European drifting. Never faced each other before. Always said, wouldn't it be crazy if Bagsy and Fontaine had a battle? Right hand drive. So here we go. Sebastian's in the lead. Look at Bagsy off the line. Wow, like, he jumped nope. a 
massively there. <laughs> as Fontin now goes through the gears in that first corner. Steve Bagsy Bags Uni right on the back bumper as they come through. I can't even see Bagsy right now. They are absolutely glued to each other, driving that dangerous line on the outside. I do believe he DB'd oh. in the tire. That same thing just happened right there. A couple of bumpers are now hanging off in different places where they should be. Yeah, it looked to me like Sebastian Font is de-beating a tire on initiation, the yep. same as Darren McNamara. So these guys try to drop pressures, but they're on street radials that can only do so much. You don't want to ask an all-season to do what they're doing to it. <laughs> exactly. So what happened? Sebastian comes in. He could, I could see the rim, and I could see no tire, and then all of a sudden the back end goes, and there was a bit of a hit. Yeah, that a little bit. Been, that could have been, been way worse. Could have been much worse. Banksy's in the lead position, Sebastian Fontaine in the chase position. What happens next? You've got an angry Nobody knows. You've got an angry Sebastian, if there is even such a thing as an angry Sebastian Fontaine, who knows that the only way to leave this venue with everybody here chanting his name is to absolutely smash the doors of Steve Banksy Biagioni's car. And ladies and gentlemen, you're just about to see exactly that. And I'm so excited. Here we go. As they come blasting down, look at Bagsy with that almost backwards engine, but Sebastian is absolutely on his door. Let's see if we can get through this transition, and he does. It surges right up into his business. Look at that proximity. He is mere inches away from Bagsy as they come back towards the wall, not letting him do anything right now. He is like, I am reeling you in. I have hooked onto your car. You are not getting away. Giving him a little love tap right there at the end. That was. If you were going to do it, that was the way to make it happen. And Bagsy gets the win and goes through to the final four. Sebastian Fonten, he left it all on the track, most of it E36 parts, and he had a phenomenal weekend. You want to try a set? First, I need the scrubs. Oh, I've got a new set. No, your new set's yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 for James, that's a new set. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to chance it. But they're like scrubs, so it's yeah, better to use them for final. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It's only if it, it's, it's started to spit again. We still have the, the rain sports now. Rain leave the rain sports, leave them on then, yeah. yeah. Just yeah. leave as is, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just want to put a new set on for James, because yeah, yeah. new sets are just on. put his door in. and. Uh, I'm going to have to do something, aren't I? Oh, you are. You will. He's going to be in the 15, isn't he? Yeah, he's going to be so fast. 14, 15, wherever it is. Yeah, I'm gonna but, but he'll be leading fast, fast too, like, I think. You'll be fast too, like, yeah. fast. I say that, you're pretty quick or something, yeah. I reckon you'll be faster than him. We'll see what happens. Yeah. He's gonna be... I mean, don't take that for go slow. Yeah. yeah. But you know he's gonna have a good line, so just give it to him. So anyway, we've got James Dean and uh, Bagsy heading to the line, and I mean, if you've watched all of their runs today, well, here, get your phones out. And you know what? In the form he's in right now, I'm feeling like he's coming in here stronger than ever to Again, beat James Dean. I think these guys are having a blast on the street tires. I think they forgot that drifting could be this good when the cars aren't super gripped up. Exactly, that means you've got a little bit more forgiveness. Look at this, thumbs up from James Dean to Steve Bagsy Biagioni. It's for a spot in the final. Mondello Park, are you ready? Here we go, it's gonna be James Dean in the lead, Steve Bagsy Biagioni in the chase position. Oh, here we go, straight off the line, James Dean up over the hill, and Bagsy, look at the proximity for Bagsy through the first corner, firing it in on the door, James Dean. Wow, look at this, as he transitions up onto the door, That's Bagsy's how you in dive the through game. The smoke. Bagsy wants it bad here as he goes to the door of that blue and teal car, transitioning back. Bagsy with the last minute, big dive up on the wall, up onto the door, James Dean. Look at this, as Bagsy pushes the front wheel of James Dean's car around the corner. Unbelievable, that unbelievable. Is what we came here to see. That was nuts. Oh, here we go. This is going to be an amazing battle. James knows he has to go he close. He has to. He has to. There is so no James Dean choice. James has to go super close if he wants to win this one because Bagsy's chase run was exceptional. And he's given himself a big old run in here behind Bagsy, staggering it back. And James Dean leaves the line way before Steve Bagsy Biagioni. And he starts to screw through the gears. Bagsy's a fast car, but James Dean's just as fast as they throw into the first car. Look at this. Nice and early. James is putting a little bit more pressure on as they come around, but what a transition. There was not as much smoke that James had to dive through to get through that and through the outer zone. James is right there. They are absolutely smashing through the course as we round this last corner. James, hey man. I don't know, it's that last little bit at the end where James is just kind of falling off just a little uh, I bit. I don't know. I do not know which way that one's going to go. That was so, so close. And that is what we came here to see. That the best, is nuts. The best in the business. Head That's to head. Sad. And that is phenomenal stuff from Bagsy and James Dean. Kieran, who's getting the win? Who's going to the final? Bagsy gets the win. Oh, Bagsy gets goodness the win! Gracious. Steve Bagsy Biagioni beats James Dean Holy in Mandela Park. And in his home turf. We got to get Adam Ivel down for the reaction on this one. Adam, th that was insane.
Bagsy, into the final. I, know, I, was, I was apologising to James a minute ago. I'm like, did I win? I'm sorry, James. Sorry. <laughs> this is, I know we're at your uh, home track. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on. This is like a dream come true. I guess I'm on a. I guess I get a podium now. Yeah. It's been a while since I've seen the final. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a treat to watch you, Bagsy. Good luck, man. Have fun, James. I mean, oh. Bagsy, did you just whip beat James Dean? <laughs> Apparently so. <laughs> High flies for the win. <laughs> <laughs> you are a high flyer today, Steve. You are the high flyer. Against James, I just went as hard as I possibly could. Uh, James did an amazing line, so it was, it was really chaseable, and I just tried to do the same. And um, yeah, I just think we maybe we had a little bit more pace. The V8 kind of seems to be working really good at this weekend, and yeah, we found ourselves now in the final against Kevin Quinn. So yeah, can't wait to get back out there. We have got one more battle to go. It is the final. Steve Bagsy Biagioni against Kevin Quinn. I think we should all stand up for this one. It's the last runs of the day. We should all get up on our feet in the grandstands. I make know it's been cold. Noise. I know it's been rainy, but we're going to make some noise for this one. Bagsy versus Quinn on the start line. Who's going to take the win? This is what it's all about. This is not what I expected when I came into this event, was having this finish. Didn't think that could happen. Absolutely, here we go. Kevin Quinn in the lead position. Steve Bagsy Biagioni in the chase position. They've been on form all day. Can they say, look at Bagsy on the initiation. Unbelievable. Contact Whoa. on entry. Bagsy smashes the door of Quinn's car and he's in again on the inside. Bumper on the ground. Quinn to the edge of the track. Bagsy dragging that front bumper through, but he's still on the door as he fires through. Driving over his own bumper, smashing the wall, up on the door. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how you do it. I'm up here ripping my hair out. That was unbelievable. And we are getting ready. They're fixing his, uh, his fake headlights. No, they're just going to let him let him ride. I think they're going to be well, okay. They're only, they're only plastic headlights. They're only five minutes headlights. It doesn't matter. We're going to send them anyway. <laughs> it's the last run of the day. Kevin Quinn has got to pull something incredible from deep down within to take this one back to his first ever win at the LZ World Tour event. The two of them, look, I thought he's just this. chomping they at the bit. They on the start line. <laughs> Quinn has left. Bagsy's about to leave. They want this one as oh they come my through goodness. the gears. Look at this, Bagsy into the first corner. Quinn right with him in on the initiation. Oh, Bagsy, big angle, but Quinn really it's close. right oh, there. On the bumper. Quinn drops a wheel, transitions back. Takes it up onto the door. Kevin Quinn starting to reel in Bagsy now as they go. Oh, look at Quinn. He's making a big dive. Through the wall as they go down onto the wall. Bagsy to the wall. Quinn to the wall. That's how you finish the event. Oh, down. my goodness. Woo. Unbelievable. What has just transpired today? I don't know what's happening anymore, but it's been phenomenal. Dan, I'm looking at the judges to say, I'll give them a big round of applause. Everybody's Everybody clapping, everybody's on their give feet. Give it up for Bagsy. That is how you finish this event. And it's been a phenomenal day. We're going to give away, firstly, third step on the podium. We give it up for the machine, James Dean. In second place, will you please give it up? for Kevin Quinn! And your winner of stop two, give it up for Bugsy! I thought when Bugsy's gonna come out, he's gonna take off the helmet, it's gonna be like James Dean or some <laughs> There you go. There you go. That's yeah, the bags you want. Who, who yeah. thought this morning? Who thought? Take all the brick out of the car and he can drive amazing. <laughs> Every competition now, road tires. Yeah. Is there a road tire championship? We need to enter it. Yeah. Someone ring high flight. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just a mess now, mate. Too much running around for one day. We've done it, Dalt. We've done, done it. it. Happy days. You've been running around a marathon, but. We need to get them scooters. Yeah. Start show. Please send us them electric scooters for my poor little legs and Jimmy's little legs. <laughs> the <rest. Please. laughs> That was right, wasn't it? That wasn't a bad. That wasn't a bad day's work. Twenty-five hundred quid. Twenty-five hundred quid. Shop's done all right. Beers on you, too. Beers on me. I just, do you know what it is? I honestly, 
when they said you've got Martin Richards in top 16, I was just like so excited to battle Martin because I knew it was going to be awesome and I knew we could put on a great show. And then one more time with Martin, was, I was just buzzing um, and to get the win was amazing. Uh, but I just I was more excited just to put on an amazing show with Martin. Then top eight with Sebastian. Unfortunately, Sebastian's car broke, so that was kind of, you know, it is what it is. It's a shame, but... Uh, and then top four. Who was we in top four with? James Dean. Um, so yeah, James, I, I didn't expect to get past James. James is a phenomenal driver, racing in America, racing in Europe. Uh, I was just, yeah, I was just down to just put it, put it out there, just literally roll the dice and just hope that it came in. And we beat James and then, and then we had Kevin in the final, which I was buzzing about. That was, that was I just as soon as I found out Kevin was in the final and I was going to be in the final, I just knew it was going to be an amazing battle. And uh, I was kind of hoping for one more time with James and I was kind of hoping for one more time with Kevin because I felt like it was close and we could have gone again just for the show and just have more fun out on the track. But it is what it is. We got the win. I'm stoked. Uh, and I can't wait to uh, do it all again at some point. Um, LZ World Tour has been amazing. I think the whole road tie thing works phenomenal. And uh, yeah, looking forward to yeah, looking forward to maybe doing it again soon. Ireland LZ World Tour 2024. Hopefully they'll invite me back. Quickly swap suits whilst it's down at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't drive. Stephen does. <laughs> you can, can I be on your, can I be on your YouTube, please? Yeah. Mom, we made it. Oh.